So how many marathons have you done? Uh, at least ten this year. How many marathons have I done? Oh, man. Oh, countless. I, I try to do as many as I can, as many as I have time for. I'd have to say a couple thousand probably. I mean, I try to be humble, but it's, it's the truth, I guess. Uh, too many to count, really. <laughs> I'll blur together. Um, thousands upon thousands. <laughs> I'd love them so much. When did you first start doing marathons? I would, uh, I've been going at it for probably a good, a good 17 years of my, my 18 years of existence. Not as early as I can remember, um, my parents got me into it, um, first, and then uh, I got some of my friends into it, and we just started doing it together. Little kids, you know, that's marathons, that's what they live for. I mean, that's all you can think about when you're a little kid. At least that's how I was, and you should hope that's how everyone is. I'm kind of the noob of the group. I, I only started when I was like five or six. On average, how long do the marathons last? Average? It's probably, rough estimate, 15 to 16 hours. Um, oh, I can do them in 12 hours. We, we did one 42, 42 hours. Dude, it's kind of sound like a vigorous process. How do you train for something like this? Training for this is just, it is terrible. Uh, practice and repetition mostly. Uh, I have a program I use. The mental aspect of it is just getting your mind to wrap around that you're going to be doing this for the next some odd hours. It's really, it really blows your mind. Training? Not training. <laughs> People just walk. Hey, wait, what are you doing? I want something. I'm doing something here. I don't care. No, you can't do it. I'm, we're using it, you idiot. Seriously, get out! Does your diet change before a marathon or during a marathon? Well, before, I have to make sure my system's full of, um, you know, calories so I don't want to eat during them. I eat as much as I can and I gain a lot of weight. I take a lot of shot blocks and those energy goos, if you've heard of them. A lot of those type of energy things during the marathon. It's just a matter of eating as little and drinking as little as possible. Except to get by because you, know, you don't want to take your time out of these marathons. You got to be stuck to the plan. Sugar, candy. I'm kind of the oddball that I like to keep it more healthy. I go for the fruits. My pockets are literally overflowing with candy. So how do you handle the bathroom breaks and bathroom breaks? Well. Everyone gets really mad if you take time out of everyone's marathon to, you know, go to the bathroom. Oh, I take my bathroom break and write down, please. <laughs> At the expense of the group, I don't care what they want to do. You have to hurry. If you have to do it, then you have to really hurry, you know, get it out, get back going. <laughs> I don't want to sit through that pain of holding it in. Have you ever held it in for more than over an hour? It's not fun. It's not pretty. Bathroom breaks, they're, they're tough. You gotta... It happens, like, you have to do it, but... I know some people in, some people in the group, uh, they wear diapers. I wear a diaper. So does your group have any rules to follow when it comes to marathon? Yeah, you don't fall asleep. Well, the big number one rule is you don't fall asleep. Marathons, we, uh... Obviously like the movies. That's what, that's what the default is. Who you're saying we're doing a marathon, marathon, it'll most likely be a movie, but... What marathons uh, does your group do? Mostly, mostly movie marathons. Uh, the movie marathons, those are, those are the ones, that, the longer ones, the more committed ones, probably, I would say. Because it's always something you can brag about, <laughs> you know. There'd be all these people, there's all these people when the new Harry Potter came out being like, Oh, Harry Potter Marathon! Yeah, try adding Lord of the Rings and Star Wars to that marathon, then come talk to me. Uh, but we have done video game marathons. At times we get into the, the TV and the video game. Video games, yes. 
Um, video game ones we do not quite as much, but uh, 99 lives Super Smash. It's 99 lives, which means if you die once, you have 98. If you die once more, you have 97. Do I have to explain this for you? Which I won, of course. Uh, <laughs> Obviously. You, I, killed, I killed myself. I ten told times. you. Um, Skyrim marathon. Hook up a bunch of TVs together and play. That's always oh, that's a blast. This is where I, you know, watch, train. We do hold a couple marathons here every year. All right, let's go. Then see my space, my sanctuary. This is where the uh, this is where the magic happens. Um, as you can see, this is where my family watches TV. IP projector that projects into this uh, 100 inch screen. My PS3 is hooked up into it so we get Blu-ray there as well as uh, video games. Got a nice 52 inch TV. Xbox, Wii, games, movies, great collection, Lord of the Rings. Blu-ray player, surround sound in this room is just awing. Got speakers on every side of the wall. Then I got my Xbox 360, mind you. PlayStation 3, Wii, Nintendo 64, obviously. And then, 82 inch LCD, 1080i, something like that. TV with surround sound system. And then, this is where it happens, right here. We got. We obviously you got the TV. We got the nice, the big speakers to get the the real, the whole room shaken. We have uh, couches, um, a futon uh, if we ever need to, you know, take a nap. We've got a um, banana chair and a beanbag chair, and then in that closet we have a fridge to uh, keep some stuff uh, cool. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is where the magic happens. What is the best part of doing marathons? Um, being with with the great guys. Yeah, Corey, John, Jake, they're pretty, they're pretty fun to be around. Um, but just the fulfillment and the accomplishment that you get when you uh, finish the marathon. It's not, it's not a one-time thing. It's a lifestyle that you have to live by. That was great. Round two. <laughs> Let's go! Alright. I love you guys. You guys are my best friends.